hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to create tasks in scom so basically there are two tasks agent task and uh, console task in this video i am going to show you how to create an agent task okay so i am on uh, my scom server console let me go to authoring tab and here you can see tasks under management packs objects so task is also part of management pack you can see here there are already many tasks are created when we import the management packs but if you want to run a specific command on windows computers we can create a task so that we don't have to log in to that server and run that command so we can do that by creating a task so we can create a task for windows objects and then uh, it is going to be available for all server windows server in left hand side you can see create a new task click over there and in this video i am going to show you how to create a command line task click on command line and select any management pack it depends upon you so i am going to keep it in the same management pack that i have created earlier and this is a command line and then click on next so i am going to get all network information i will name it network details and then write the description select the object so i am going to target on all windows server so select windows server click on ok so it will be available for all windows server now give the full path so try to use bin there it's like a variable because uh, if you write c colon and uh, the windows directory is not installed on c drive then your task is going to fail so good thing is keep it bin directory whatever the drive is no matter windows then system 32 and there we have ip config.exe command and the parameter i am going to it slash all because I want to get all the details related to the network. You have to provide the timeout so it is 15 seconds, but you can override it while running the task. Click on create. Task is created. Let me search it. So here the task is generated by other objects as well and we have created in windows server so it says not inherited so now go to monitoring tab and run this task for any windows server here sql server is selected and if i scroll down over here you can see under windows computer task there is one more task that is web os3 network details okay click on that and uh, here you can override that timeout seconds okay by default it is 15 seconds you can change the run as account as well but uh, keep it default and click on run okay so task is failed because it says the system cannot find the path specified so i think yeah here you can see I have write the windows directory and then again I specified the windows directory it should not be so before giving the path please verify so now I can show you how to edit the task as well because I was going to show you later but I think it's a good time so let me scroll down and if I right click and click on properties 
from here command line we can edit it let me just remove this windows part and then click on apply okay uh, i have edited the task now go to monitoring let's rerun the task this time it is successful and if i scroll down you can see all the network details like ip address default gateway subnet mask okay and uh, dcp enabled or not so whatever we get using this command ip config slash all from the command line this is the same output we get so this is how we create a task and i have also shown how to edit it if there is any issue mostly the issue is sometimes the path is not correct or uh, it is not able to like operation console is not able to connect to the agent but yes if that is the issue then you can see it is not going to sh show you healthy status right so I run it on SQAM itself and I got the same result. So any computer if you have targeted to Windows computers you will see under all the Windows computers uh, under Windows computer tasks. So whenever there is any, any command that you run on a frequently basis like uh, just I'm giving the example because those things are already in the management pack like defragment the disk or uh, ping it those are the common but uh, you know if you have any specific service that is you know specific to your organization and that is available on all your uh, computers then you can uh, create a task and you can check it that service is running or not so this is all about creating a task see you in the next video thank you